Hello everyone, my name is Shane, my online name is Lanzer, and this is By the Numbers, Numero Uno. This show will be where I do my combined performance updates on all the different crypto investments that I'm currently in. I was spending too much time creating too many videos, and I thought to combine it all into one show so that I can quickly and concisely show you the performance. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do about referrals, but in the meantime, while I'm coming to a decision, I've added a tip jar on the right here. The comments were that if I add a tip jar, that might be a happy medium in between. So I'm going to do that here and, and then just keep moving right along. So the basic way that by the numbers will be laid out is by crypto investment. So I'll go over my control finance, then I'll go over BitConnect, then I'll go over BitPedit, and then I'll finally go over Genesis Mining. So as an overview, I've invested $89,000. I've received a return of $41,000 or 46%. I have $47,000 remaining before I break even or 54% left, and I have a projected return of 112,000 left. Control finance, I've invested $33,000. The principal is not recoverable. The advertised rate was 1.5% daily. The advertised return was 15,000. The advertised return on investment monthly was 45% and the evaluation period ended up being 120 days. Break even, I have not broken even. I started on August 2nd. 40 days have passed since then and I have 80 days left. Total payouts have been $16,000 at an average rate of 1.5% accrued per day. So it has met the advertised rate of 1.5%. Total fees have been $247, where the average fee rate is 1.98% from payout to bank account deposit. And the net return so far is $12,000, running in at 36%. Break-even is at 88 days, and the projected return on investment is projected to be 179% at $47,000 returned in that 88-day period. Right now, the Woodlanzer reinvest is at serious risk. Go ahead and go on to BitConnect. The principal investment was $20,000. It is re reported to be recoverable. I have not recovered it yet. The advertised interest rate was 1.29%. The advertised rate of return was 154%, which equaled $50,000. The evaluation period, 120 days, four months. The break-even is, yes, I have broken even. Starting on June 6, 97 days have passed, 23 days left in the evaluation period, and $24,000 in payouts, an average rate of 1.23%, so it's fairly close to the advertised rate. Total fees is $400. Average fee rate is 2.11% from payout to deposit in the bank account. Net return is $23,000. And I have recovered 115%. So I, I am now at 15% profit over the $20,000. My break even says it's 89 days, although I need to correct that it was 84 days. And the projected rate of return is still on track for 147% at a final projected net return of 49,000. The Woodlanzer reinvest is with caution. Bit Petite started at $10,000. Recoverable principle is no. Weekday average, the weekday advertised interest rate is 4.5%. The weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Advertised interest rate is 1%. The advertised return is $16,000 at 147% rate return on investment. Valuation period is 42 days. The break even is no, I have not broken even. Started on August 26, 18 days have passed since then, 24 days left. The total payout so far is $6,000 at an average interest rate of 3.5% per day. That is a average between those two rates right there. The total fees have been $87 from payout to bank account deposit. And the average fee rate is 3.11%. The net return is $5,000. And the recovery of the principal is 55%. Break even is projected to be at the 30 day mark. 
Projected rate of return is 147% at $14,000 projected net return. Lanzer, would Lanzer reinvest is at serious risk. Genesis Mining, principal is $25,000. Principal is not recoverable. Advertised interest rate is 1%. Advertised return is 33000 The advertised return on investment is 132%. And that is over a span of 128 days. Break even, it hasn't started yet. Start, it is projected to start October 31st. Zero days have passed, and I am at start. So let's start with Control Finance. I would normally show you the ledger here, but a Control Finance site cannot be reached. Uh, it's currently down. There's been some postings by Control Finance administrators developers whatever you want to call them saying that there's some legal troubles going on and they're implementing an automated system the last email they sent about it was a little bit difficult to understand and i don't know what's going on so showing the, the analysis things have been quite steady so far payments Interest rate is still 1.50%. My net return is 12,000, sitting at 36%. My projected rate of return is at 179, if all things are equal, with the projected net return of 47,000 and a loss of projected 12,000. As far as the ledger goes, the weird cent additions still are occurring. It's sort of based on how many payouts you have it's it seems to average about one cent per payout although that's not exactly 100 accurate and as of 8 september the withdrawals from control finance have not been going through you can see here on the left that that's what i with initiated in the withdrawal process and nothing has gone through to the wallet so that was this one was as of last night, and today the site has gone down. So, I'm not going to speculate on what's going on. I'm only reporting the facts as I know them. And as of right now, the site's down. I haven't received a payment, but still have a few hours to go before that's supposed to hit. Although, I don't know how I'm going to check now that the site's down. So, unsure. I've been receiving a number of questions about what's happening, what are my thoughts. Uh, my thought is very simple you can't recover the deposit even if you wanted to so it's there's no point in you stressing out or fretting over it because there's nothing you could do about it you if you made the investment then you should have known going into it that it was a high risk investment and you should have accepted that you could lose every penny that you invested so i have invested thirty three thousand dollars just like the, just as I hold that standard to everyone else, I hold that to myself. I accept that $33,000 could be lost. I went into it trying to break even as fast as possible, which is why I did not take advantage of any compounding interest and hope that it would last longer than it would take for me to break even. The jury's still out on whether or not that will happen. And as of the withdrawal delays and the site going down, my... Woodlands are investing control finance again right now is at serious risk and it will go left or right depending on what happens in the future. Let's move on to BitConnect. BitConnect has still been going strong and steady. You can see the payouts have been occurring every day as advertised. The rate is still within a reasonable margin of the advertised 1.29. It's now sitting at 1.23. The net return is at 23,000, which means that I have broken even. And I broke even as of day 84. This says 89. I need to check the formula because it didn't stop calculating even after the break even date. So I need to understand what happened there. But the break even day was day 84. So that's good news. That means at this point I'm gaining profit on my original investment 97 days ago. I'm on track for 147%, which is within a margin of error for 154%, and my return on principal looking at 49,000. 
which is an end of 244%. So that's good. The Woodlander invest in BitConnect coin again is with caution on the left hand side and will move accordingly as things progress. So at this point, BitConnect coin has been doing what it's been doing, which is pays out each day. It moves quickly and I've experienced no issues depositing into a bank account. So I'm at $20,000 invested, 97 days in, 23 days left. And that's all I have for BitConnect. Next up is BitPetite and dividends have been paid out every hour as advertised. As far as the analysis goes, the completion date has changed. Originally, it showed me 24 September, but clearly I must have misinterpreted this date here, separate from the one that was originally advertised, the break-even day of September 28th, when I first invested. So now the numbers make a bit more sense because before that, it was showing a huge loss. I wasn't even gonna break even at the end of the evaluation period. So I changed it to 7 October, which is now, what I now understand to be the European format here, my evaluation changed from 29 days to 42 days. Projected to be 14,000, which is going to be 147%. A projected loss of $1,400 advertised. Break even day 30 days, which is in less than 12 days from now. The average interest rate is 3.5%, showing red, but it will show green because it's the average between these two rates which are appropriately applied on weekdays and weekends. My net return is 5700 which is a little over half of my original investment of $10,000. Let's look at the ledger and it goes on an hourly basis so I have been recording it on an hourly basis. So as you can see on Saturday you receive 1% as advertised over a 24 hour period and then on weekdays, you receive 4.5% over a 24 hour period as advertised. I need to note that I'm detecting some odd variances and I haven't quite had the time to investigate it yet, but on multiple instances, the math has not reconciled 100% and I haven't quite spent the time to figure out why that is. So for instance, I received $2,021 my first withdrawal over the course of uh, appropriately applied days. This day didn't really count because I did not accrue a full day's worth of interest. So my first withdrawal set of days, I should have received, I calculated that I should have received $2,010. I received $2,021 and I'm not really sure why that occurred. Same thing happened the next time. I should have accrued $583 and I instead accrued $568, difference of $15. Happened again and again and again. So my calculation, which is to the penny as far as I can tell, is not equaling this amount when I go to withdraw. And I am appropriately accounting for hours that I have not, that have not accrued. So as you can see on there, on the ninth there, I accrued three hours out of the 24 hour period. And I made sure that was properly accounted for in my uh, estimation, how much I should have received. It was different than what BitPedit says I have received. So I need to engage with customer support to find out why that is. Other than that, it has, it has been accruing interest every day as advertised at the rate it has advertised and Woodlands are invest again. It's at serious risk, but it's right on the cusp. And that's because within the past 48 hours, I've changed the completion date as I realized the break even point is not the completion date and my projection has changed. So I'm going to give it a few more days to make sure that the numbers keep checking out engage with customer support, and that's it for BitPetit. Next up is Genesis Mining, and there's not much to report on this one because it hasn't started yet, 
and it won't start until the 31st of October. I have completed the metrics tracker and this is what it looks like. I have all of the metrics and the projections completed. It's not due to start until 31 October. So it has not accrued any interest payments as of yet. I invested 25,000. I project a break even day of 128 days. So that will be my evaluation period. An interest of 1.03% daily and a return of 33,000 over that 128 days, which is a return on investment of 132%. The principal is not recoverable. So everything is ready to go and we shall see what happens. That marks the end of my first by the number segment. I really like the, the way this went. I combined everything at once. I was able to convey it all at once and in a very clear and concise format and still show you all the data that I need to show you. So I don't have to keep doing four different videos and soon it'll be five and after that it'll be six and I'm just gonna keep going on and on. My closing thoughts are that out of all of them so far, it looks like control finance was out on top, but as of the the last few days where the withdrawal withdrawals have been delayed and now the site's down, I can no longer say that control finance is, is in the lead as far as the most lucrative investment opportunity. And now looks like it's shifting over to BitConnect, which after 97 days has proven itself that the average interest rate is at least in the ballpark of what was advertised and the rate of return is looking to approach what it was advertised 97 days ago so i have broken even which is a, a huge huge plus and uh looks like so far BitConnect is proven to be the more lucrative opportunity, although if Control Finance can get itself back on its feet and paying every day, these two will be very, very close together as the average interest rates and the projected rate of returns are similar, but Control Finance is slightly favored in that regard. I have the tip jar while I decide what I'm going to do about referrals. So if you feel so inclined, I would appreciate any... Any tip money you want to throw my way, please don't feel obligated to. And I, of course, provide the spreadsheets available to you free of charge. If you make alterations to it or make it your own, just make sure you have it properly marked that I was the creator of it, as you can see right here. And there's the download link. I'm looking forward to the next one, and I haven't decided on how often I'm going to do it, but we'll see. That's everything I have for this video. Have a great day. Goodbye.